Welcome to the land of plenty. Poland's producers are having a field day. They're not in the euro, the currency the Zloty is weak, so exports are booming. If we will be in eurozone, it will be not the same. And right now our economy is quite strong, only because we are outside eurozone. Outside the euro, but importantly inside the EU, subsidies from Brussels are pouring in. Three billion euros here for another subway line in Warsaw, fueling growth, jobs and the envy of much of the rest of the continent. There's a real sense of drive, of energy and enthusiasm here that's hard to find in much of the continent these days. Poland is living its European dream and despite the fact that broadly speaking the EU is stagnating around it, there's very little talk here of looking towards China and the other emerging economies for future investment. The focus is all on Europe. That of course brings some dangers here. If Europe's economies stagnate, Poland will lose some of its export markets. But visit the central bank. How often do you hear this these days? It looks like the Polish economy is uh, crisis proof or crisis more resistant to crises. Because you're not in the Eurozone. Uh, but also because uh, we have um, not allowed our public finances to get out of hand, even if we have some problems now which are disappearing very quickly. So do you really want to join a club where public finances are out of hand? If the club is in order again, why not? But don't ask me when. This is the only Polish haircut you hear speak of. Like many young entrepreneurs here, Dobrawa Picos isn't concerned about Europe's problems and she sees Poland's future tied up in deeper integration. To do something more, you have to be connected with other countries to be related. And I think that's the most important thing. So joining it the Euro is the is natural definitely, thing. Definitely, yes. One day then, perhaps. But for now, Poland's building and investment boom is insulating it from Europe's crisis. Who needs to join the Euro? Matthew Price, BBC News, Warsaw.